drinks as well, so make sure you've got one ready. Let me get my timer going. I'll start off with a little bit of a warm up, so we're ready and ready to go for the main workout. So start by circling your arms backwards. <clears throat> And forwards. And then, and then right over left, left over right. Bring your elbows right back as you do this. Zip. And then open your arms out, straight arms, palms together. Open up. And then play around with the direction. <clears throat> Just keep your hands opposite each other. Nice one, well done. And um, bring your arms up in front of you, keep your hips facing forward, and we're going to twist round to the back, bringing your elbow back behind you, and allow your eyes to follow the direction of that elbow. And then open it out, extend the arm behind you, and follow your fingers with your eyes. That's it. One more each side. Woo, there we go. Give your arms a little bit of a shake. <clears throat> right, let's come down into a low squat and rock in this position for a little bit. Open your hips out slightly. Stretch the backs of your kiddies. And then push against your knees with your elbows, really open up these hips. Five seconds. 
Weight in your hands. Here we go. For 45 seconds. That's it. Brace yourself. <laughs> Well done. 15 seconds down. Keep going. 20 seconds left. Make sure your knees are over your toes. <clears throat> You're not caving in. Last 10. We've got 15 seconds and we're going into jumping squats. Woo! So give your legs a little bit of a shake out. Here we go. Jumping squats. Kind of tap the floor in between your legs. With these though, same applies, back flat, chest up. Make sure you're dropping your bum down. And you're not just bending forward. That's halfway. Keep it going. Whew. I know it's tiring. We've got big muscles involved right now. So it's using a lot of energy. Last few seconds. Whew. Whew. Nice one. 20 second rest. And then we've got a hold. So come down into a low squat and hold it for 30 seconds. Yep. Whew. Just have to think about something else. <laughs> Make sure you're staying low, don't start creeping up. Over halfway now. Try and keep your back flat, chest up. Whew. Nearly there. I know it burns. Oh. Oh. Well then. Right, we've got press ups now. We've still got another 20 seconds till we start. So press ups for 45 seconds. If you can do them off your feet, great. If you need to do them off your knees, go for it. Just keep a steady rhythm and go at a level and a pace that challenges you. Here we go. Well done. If you keep your elbows tucked into your ribs, it targets your triceps a bit more too. So it makes it harder. Less than 20 seconds left. Woo! Come on, 10 left. Woo! Burpees now, chest to floor burpees. If you want to do push up burpees, crack on! I'm sticking to chest to floor. Here we go, 40 seconds. Woo! Spring up at the top. Nice one, keep it going. That's halfway. 
Make sure you breathe. Come down. Hold. I have to close my eyes. Keep squeezing. Keep holding. That's halfway. Woo! Keep going. You can lie on the floor in a minute. Five seconds. Well done, guys. I'm dead already. <laughs> right, bicycle crunch next. So over onto your backs. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. Try and crunch up to bring your elbow to your knee rather than bring your knee into your chest. Here we go. Keep a steady rhythm going for you. 
pace that challenges you and just try and keep going. Make sure your knee is in line with your, with your toes at that front there. Woo! Nearly halfway. Squeeze up, bring your hands towards your knees, 
Come back again. Exhale as you crunch up. And these are slow and controlled. And make sure you leave the gap between your chin and your chest. So you're not crunching your neck. Try to resist hanging around at the bottom. Try and squeeze straight back up again. That's it, 10 seconds left. Woo. Well done. Full body crunch this time. So extend out, we're going to exhale as we crunch in and up and extend out again. And don't let your arms or your feet touch the floor as you extend out. Woo! I know you already know what the hold is going to be and I bet you're dreading it as much as I am. <laughs> But, like I said in the last one, it's the only time we're doing it. So, hold it, squeeze for the 30 seconds. And then we're going to have to do it again today. So, for those of you that have guessed it, well done. For those of you that haven't, I'll tell you. We're going to do a big dish. So extend out, oh. and we're going to hold it in this extended position. Don't let your lower back arch and keep breathing. Woo. Halfway. Keep squeezing, you're going to feel so good. The last few seconds. Oh. Woo! Don't you feel great now? During it, it's awful, but afterwards you're like, all right, cool, I did it. <laughs> Guys, I've just seen your comment. Ouch. I know, I'm feeling that too. But we get to lie down again now and be nice to us. We've got glute bridge. So feet flat on the floor, knees bent. Push your bum up to the ceiling. You're very, very lightly tapping down on the floor and then squeezing straight back up again. And with this, make sure you're tipping your pelvis forward, that you're not arching your lower back. Think about bringing your belly button down to the floor for the whole move. And make sure you're squeezing those butt cheeks. 20 seconds left. Woo! Well done. Keep it going nearly there now. Hey! Now we've got glute bridge abducted, so we're going to push up into that glute bridge and open our knees out, bring them back together again, and keep doing that. Stay as high as you can. Here we go. 40 seconds. Push up, and push out. Woo! You feel your bum cheeks hurting. 20 seconds left. That's halfway. Keep it going, 10 left. Woo! Ow! Brilliant, well done. Come and rest for a second. And this time our hold is going to be in the extended abductor position. So push up, open your knees out as wide as you can, and we're going to hold it here. Doing it any longer than I need to. <laughs> Here we go. Push up, out, and hold. Whew. I don't know why my music stopped. It was helping me push through. That's halfway. Keep going. Make sure you're not sagging down to the floor. Keep pushing up. 
Ten seconds left. Oh.
side. We're going to hold on a high plank, lift one arm up, and if we can, extend the opposite leg as well. You really have to get your balance for this. Start with your arm, and then try and lift the leg. And we're going to hold it for 15 seconds one side, and then 15 seconds the other side. So in three, two, one, swap sides. It's definitely easier one way. Hold it. We've only got three exercises left after this. Woo! Amazing!
slowly stretch down your hamstring. And then flex your toes as well, pull them towards you. Excellent. And swap sides, lunge forward, keep the back heel on the floor and push. Step in, bend the back leg, straighten the front leg. That's it. And take a deep breath in. And out again. And another one. And one more.